All right, guys. I'm finally back. I am finally back. I finally set up my lights, uh, green screen with my black uh, cloth as a background, and yeah, the resistance has been real. Um, I've so I've been doing a whole lot of studying, you know, how to do YouTube algorithm whatnot, and basically, I've just pack my brain with too much information that I really got kind of stuck really and you know with New Year's comes New Year's resolutions and I don't make New Year's resolutions but still you know I'm like okay what am I going to do this year and so yeah to keep it short it really took a long time to get my engine started and but yeah without further ado I am gonna start with today's video I'm gonna be showcasing three of my rings All right, so first up, I've got my ring on here. Um, but before we get into that, I just want to say I'm so glad that I'm finally back on my path doing YouTube. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate that you're watching. Um, I know that most of the people that are watching are friends and families for now, but I just want to say thank you. And so, yeah, so the first ring I have here is a Will Vanderver ring. He's a Native American jeweler. So it's a sterling silver turquoise ring. It's got a stone right in the middle right there. Uh, it's by Will Vanderver. And what I really like about this ring is it's just, it's got these coil designs. Um, I've got another ring by him. And, you know, the design is just really intricate. It's really cool to look at. And it's got this H.R. Giger-esque style. Um, you guys probably know Alien. If you look at the star, uh, spaceship designs, it's got sort of like that vibe. Um, it's quite unique and different from other uh, Native American jewelries. Native American jewelries are super popular here in Japan. Um, it kind of goes in line with, uh, you know, Japanese Americana. A lot of people, they, they, they have turquoise rings, necklaces, jewelry bracelets. So the way I style these is I just have one right here on my index finger or my middle finger. Or sometimes I put a little bit, a couple other rings just to kind of, yeah, go all out. But that's pretty much it. Okay. And the next ring we have is this ring right here that I put on um, my pinky finger. So I've wanted a pinky finger, pinky ring for a while and found this at a store here in Osaka um, called Why Are You Here? But yeah, this is by Hyder Ackerman. It's a sterling silver ring. This cost a pretty penny, but yeah, I really like them. I think I got these like four or five years ago and yeah, what I like about it is it's not, it's, it's got a gap right here. So, yeah, I sometimes move around just to fit my fingers. But, yeah, only thing that I own by Hyder Ackerman. But, yeah, I really like this too. And the way I style these is, sometimes I just put this one on. You know, all black, just 
low key. Um, yeah. And okay, so next one. Next one we have is the last one for this video, and it's a skull ring. I don't really own any skull rings, but this one is kind of special. Uh, I bought this here in Osaka at a store that sells a whole bunch of Native American jewelry. A lot of really, really like OG artists there. Uh, some stuff are like super expensive. But anyway, this one is rare. Um, it caught my eye because you don't really have skulls skull motifs in Native American style stuff but yeah I just thought this was super cool and the skull I believe is made out of deer horns mm. but yeah just super super dope really intricate carving um, I put him on right here next to my pinky. Yeah. I haven't had the chance to rock these yet, but yeah, really dope. Not much more to say. And that's it. So, yeah, I'm going to end this video uh, by saying that, yeah, there's going to be more content coming up. Um,. I'm going to keep experimenting, but yeah, please stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.